I was given a divine dream the other night, and I have to tell everyone. And I was also given confirmation of my dream. So, in my dream, a friend of mine and I were going around town, um, running some errands. The sky looked like it does today. Um, and as we were driving, we were out walking somewhere, and these gray, eerie clouds started to roll in. And they were really unlike any clouds I've ever seen before. They were like churning and twisting and turning in all different directions. Very eerie. And at that moment, I tried, um, in my dream, I tried to call my husband because I knew it was the end. I knew I didn't think I was going to make it out of there alive. So in my dream, I tried to call my husband to tell him and my children that I love them one last time. And he didn't pick up the phone. And even though I was sad, I was like, it's going to be okay because if this is the end for me, we will be reunited in heaven. And so then tornadoes started dropping out of the sky everywhere. It was complete chaos. And these uh, lightning started falling, hitting the ground. And when the lightning hit the ground, it was so immense that it was literally causing earthquakes. And I tried to call my husband one more time. And at that point, there was no cell service anywhere. And I couldn't, I couldn't call him. And my friends and I decided to get back in the car and to drive somewhere. We got in the car. We looked up to the left. And the moon was the biggest moon I've ever seen. It was humongous. It was beautiful. Bright yellow. It was beautiful. And at that moment, the moon turned deep, dark, blood red. Not bright red like my shirt. Very deep, dark red. And my friend and I looked at each other and we knew that this was the end. And we hugged each other and we cried out to Jesus and we prayed because we knew that it was his return. And I looked back over at the moon again and it began to dissolve. And then everything went gray, not white, not black. Everything went light gray. And I heard the words, it's real. I'm coming. I am. And then I opened my eyes and everything was black. And I was very confused why I wasn't in heaven. Because I've never had a dream like this before and it was real. And I was confused why I wasn't in heaven. And then I realized I was in the hotel room with my husband and children. And the Holy Spirit poured over me. And I began to weep. Sorry, there's gnats. And I was sobbing. And my husband looks at me and he's like, it's like I mean, it's like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. He's like, are you okay? And I couldn't even, I couldn't even speak. And <clears throat> I got up and I ran into the bathroom and I sat on the floor for I don't know how long. And so the Holy Spirit pulled, poured over me. And I cried. Harder than I've cried in a long time. And I prayed. Because it's real. And Jesus is coming back. Whether that's tomorrow, 10 years, 100 years. It's real. And we've got to make sure that our families and our friends and our neighbors and people that we don't know are ready because it's real. The end will come eventually. Jesus is real. The Bible is real. And what I have seen played out, it shook me to my core because I've never seen anything like it. Our families have to be ready because it's real. So that morning, I was telling my husband what had happened and about the Holy Spirit pouring over me. 
<clears throat> and he reminded me of um, either Matthew or Revelation where it says that the moon would become blood and um, the stars would fall from heaven and strike the earth. And I told him that's exactly what I've seen. And Revelation is not something that I have studied in depth. It's not really a book that I really understand well.